welcome back to Nora's Cove. I'm Yoshida. Today we're going to be starting what we're going to be doing our weekly budget. And let's hop right into it. If you watch, watched my cash envelope stuffing, you saw that last week was awesome. So we anticipated $750. We ended up making $1,195 in hair. Um, nails again, nothing. Norris Cove, we made money, but it actually won't hit to like this week. Y'all excuse the dogs. <laughs> and then we have miscellaneous at $70. That was the money I made helping my co-worker. And so we came out with $1,265. Credit one got paid. Let me check this stuff off. Well, as you can see, I highlighted it. It got paid. Um, Chase... I didn't pay Chase. Wait a minute. Why didn't I pay Chase? Oh my God. Wait a minute. Something. Okay. I'm confused. I got to look at this. Why I didn't pay Chase? Car note came out. Um, T-Mobile. I did get that paid. Um, booth rent. I did. I paid. Ended up paying 300 on top of actually... 370 so I put that there community and Walmart now I'm gonna go back and look at Chase and figure out why I didn't pay Chase and I might need to pay them <laughs> so that was that so let's just hop on into this week because I'm so confused now why I didn't pay Chase like why didn't I pay them like why is that marked out like I don't know I I'm so confused <laughs> I don't understand because What's today? Today's the 12th. Oh my God, they were due yesterday. Maybe that's why. Uh-oh, I'm late. That's why. I don't know what color this is, but let's just roll with it. Oh, this is a nice, cool gray. I'm just highlighting. And I definitely want to get some cash envelopes in this week. And what else? Debt, sinking funds. I'm gonna I don't know how it's going to pan out, but let's see first. As you all know, I just write down my sources of income. So first things first, hair. And again, I'm going to project $750. Um, i am going to hit Norris Cove. I'm not going to put down nails. I don't think I'm doing nails right now, only because I just... Got some things to get together here in my home to be able to just like take clients again. So, um, Norris Cove, I want to say twenty five dollars. I'm guesstimating is something around there, but maybe less. And then uh, miscellaneous, just never know what that is. That could be also what I should have put down for miscellaneous last week. Um, I we had a new Meza. It's a Mediterranean spot that opened up near my job. I've been waiting on it. I got a free boat. I got a free meal and drink with the points and all that great stuff. So um, that was considered income to me because I didn't have to pay for lunch. So my total will be $7.75. Y'all, I'm so upset. Today's the 12th. I need to pay Chase. So I need to just go in there and <laughs> write them down. OMG, I, I know they're like, this girl, I could have sworn I paid them. Like, what in the world? Maybe that's why I didn't put them down for last week, because they would have been on this week. I don't know, but anywho, I'm going to have to start just <laughs> pre-programming my bills. I do know that this is the week when everything is due. I've already paid Uplift, so Uplift, they've already come out, so I don't need to do them. I paid Uplift. Yeah, so they've already gotten their money. So then on the 15th, I have Capital One. Unbelievable. Yeah, I forgot Chase, y'all. I paid my car note. Y'all, excuse the dog sneezing. I think they got colds or their um, allergy to whatever their stuff is being launched in. Bless you. Capital One, so we know they're like 25. Um, Citibank on the 17th. And Citibank, to my knowledge, I think we're doing 40. Uh, Barclays, I don't even know what Barclays no more because they're still charging me interest. The only way I'm going to get them down is just to pay a lump sum. And yeah, so that is it. Now, I have down 
on the 20th, which is Tuesday, I have a car note due. I want to have some of that money. So I'm just going to put, I'm just going to put it down, but it is not pertinent that it gets done because I do work on Monday, but it's not a full day of, you know, money, if that makes sense. So let's add this up real quick. Okay, I have a three, a 36, but I remembered, I forgot my booth rent. So again, I'm just gonna put booth rent down for 300, and that gives us 636.60, okay? 636.60, and I'm gonna put booth here. Again, all these things besides my little credit cards are just optional things besides booth rent as well, car note, well, everything, yeah. But as far as income-wise, if you're new here, I guesstimate my income. Based upon what I'm looking at, my projection for the week of clients, I'm going off of a base of what I'm making per week. And here lately, the least amount has been $500. Um, the most amount, as you all saw, was like $1,100, $1,200. So sometimes it's more, sometimes it's less. But that's it, unless I'm out. So, anywho, um, we're gonna take the 636, subtract it from the 775. Let's see what we got left. That leaves us $138.40. So we are in the positive. Now, sometimes I have extras and tips or whatever, but I definitely know that I need to donate to my emergency fund. I want to give them 50 and definitely that. And savings, those two, if nothing else, I'm paying myself. This is what I'm going to do. So that leaves 75 and let's subtract that from 138. See, this is why you should check your budget every day $63 and 40 cents I'm gonna let that ride out right there again I am NOT a zero based budgeter I'd love to be but I'm not and um, just in case that gives me a little lee room but these two funds I definitely I'm on a mission I definitely want to fund um, as I pack up everything we can let's chat just a little bit about a new envelope that I want to do as well Go Wild is coming. If you're a planner, you know, it's a planner conference. It's coming. I've never been. After seeing the one in California, I really wished I could have went. And um, never, you know, I've, I've, well, there was COVID. But I wanted, pre-COVID, I wanted to go to a, a planner conference, a really big one. But, um, you know, COVID hit and everything. So, I want to plan for that. But the money to pay the at least half is due the 15th. I don't want to go into my envelopes and all that stuff, so I don't know, but hopefully there'll be a chance for me to, to be able to do it. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to make another envelope for that because I want to save for that because I do want to stay at the hotel when it comes instead of driving. So, I'm going to have to make room for that, even if it's just a couple of dollars a week until things pick up around the holidays. But you guys, thank you all so much for sticking around, listening to me fumble and dogs bark and sneeze and all that great stuff. Um, I really do appreciate you all for sticking with me. Thank you all so much. And I will see you guys in my next video. If today is your first time watching any of my videos and you enjoyed today's video and you love to see more, please do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.